Hey guys, if you're watching this, you probably have a bad flash, or you somehow bricked your Xbox 360's DVD firmware. You know? All right. So for this for this tutorial, I'll be using the Samsung. Uh, that's all I have available right now. I'm not feeling up to using the Tachi one. And um, all right, let's get into it. Um. All right, so let's open up Jungle Flasher. And during this, while I wait for this to load, um, guys, the reason I'm uploading this is I'm sure there's ways to unbrick it, but I haven't really had much of luck on anything else. This won't require any special board. Just you know, you got SATA ports on your board, and you should be good. Um. This is pretty easy. Um, I figured it out by goofing around. I don't know if it's on the air and air or not. Don't think it is. But um, we will take your drive to the bare bone. Just all we're going to use are the power cable to your Xbox, where we're using the power, as long as you get power to it, and a SATA cable. And the SATA cable should go to your computer to this. So. We have Jungle Flasher open. MK MTK Flash 32. And now we're going to plug in our Xbox 360's firmware or hardware drive, whatever. We're gonna plug this in right now. We'll have the power and everything. Um, plug in the SATA cable now and everything. So you should have the SATA plugged into this to your computer on the primary or secondary SATA port. Because usually that's what's um, picked up on this. I couldn't find it on the third or fourth. Um, and then we'll, we have the um, power cable plugged in. So now that we have all this open and everything, we can go ahead and flip on the drive now that we have everything hooked up to it. So we'll, we'll flip, up the, flip on the drive. So we flip on the drive right here. We flip it on. And um, while it's um, sitting there, you know, it's all it's bad flashed. Sitting there might hang your system, hopefully not. Um, while everything's plugged in and it's powered on, we hit intro slash device ID. I'm not going to hit it because obviously it's not plugged in. Um, and it should pop up. Um, if it doesn't with um, vendor mode right there where it says no drive detected, while it's looking for the device, you can unplug the power cable and plug it back in a few times. I recommend unplugging it and plugging it back in real quick and then just um, waiting a few seconds. Or you can just turn off the Xbox and turn it back on. Or use your switch, flip it on or off. You know. And then it, hopefully it will pop up with vendor mode. This works for the Sam, the Sammies. I'm not sure about any air drive. I have not tested on any air drive. But um this is a great and easy way if you accidentally fucked up your flash from Windows being gay or you know, just maybe your something crashed, I don't know. Something hung your system and it didn't work out. And this is very easy. And you won't even have to hit Sammy Unlock because it'll be in vendor mode automatically. I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, and there's, you don't need to do mode B or anything. This works for M MS 28s and MS 25s. As far as I know, I've tested both. So after you have it in vendor mode, you can read, write, read, erase, write. I recommend write and writing new firmware. I had to use it to write a, the DVD code I got from a cheap eBay Xbox. And then I got the DVD code from a JTAG hack I did. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you get your Samsung drives up and working. See you guys later.